today on Rat and Cat, we're going to take a look at the TG Electric Rechargeable Tactical Waterproof Plasma Lighter. Welcome to Rat Cat, where we search, survive, and explore. I'm Nakia. About a week ago, a viewer was suggesting that I take a look at some emergency sleeping bags, kind of like tarps, but they're sleeping bags, to review those, and I'm going to be here in the future. And as I was looking at those, I also came across this plasma lighter under their new products category. Now, I think they've had a version of this out that's camouflage for the last year or so. I think the black is the main factor. And I've seen other ones of these, but what's really cool about this from a lot of the plasma lighters is that it's waterproof. It's got a seal around here. The button is on the inside of the sealed area as well as the charging port. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And what I really like about the idea of a plasma lighter is that it doesn't matter if the wind's blowing, it's still gonna produce a spark. It's interesting, when the wind is blowing, it blows the spark like a flame. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea of a rechargeable device too. Uh, I use a lighter a lot of time with fluid, uh, but I find that in really cold weather, those don't work all that well. Um, they can also get messed up or rusty. Usually they're pretty good though, uh, but they're a lot faster than using flint or steel. And uh, I think that you can, I'm all for, for real speed. You know, it's, it's great to have the skills to build a fire with steel or even you know wood and friction uh, but a lot of times you just need that flame as fast as possible and w devices that use batteries especially with flashlights and um, other devices like that cameras i don't like throwing away a ton of a ton of batteries i don't think it's good for the earth and it's a waste of my money uh, and in times like these where uh, there may be a crisis going on in the nation, uh, there it might be harder to get into the store and to actually be able to find batteries. Uh, and so it's just less time that I have to go into store and say, oh, that's another thing, waste of money, time going in to buy new batteries all the time and make sure they're there when you just have the device and you just plug it in. And I almost always carry a USB uh, charging battery supply for my equipment and so I'm almost every time I'm out in the field I've got that with me uh, so I can charge up my camera my phone my cell phone and now my lighter it's pretty lightweight it's got this little latch here to keep it shut which is really important because uh, if you have it open in your pack and you accidentally hit this button you know, something jars it, it's going to start something in your pack on fire. I think that's probably the biggest disadvantage to this. Also, you're going to want to keep it upright. Uh, if you down or down like this, it's going to foul up the, the contacts a lot easier, uh, mess up the device. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much true with a lighter, too. But uh, especially that you have to get it down in this little groove. That's not too bad of, of an issue, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you right now what it's like to light several different types of fuel with this device. So what I've got here is this cotton swab. And like I said, I think it's always good to start from below and uh, see how it goes. So we're starting right up there. I'm toss it out before I burn myself. Next, I have this little bit of compressed wood fiber fire starter. No problem. Right next, I've got a little bit of pitch here from a bull pine. You'll notice this device shuts off after about seven seconds. You have to push the button again. So again, not a problem there. Right now it's gone out. And it helps to have a bit of grass in there with it.
So in conclusion, I like this little plasma lighter from GT on Amazon. It's uh, 15 bucks, I think, something like that. Uh, lightweight, easy to use, always there, uh, easy to recharge. I think it takes about mm, half hours to two hours to recharge, I can't remember. Uh, I think it will last, they say 300 lights, but really I found that's about five minutes if you're really trying to light stuff steadily. Uh, so yeah, you definitely want to have a recharger with me. Then mine came with a two pack of these for that too. So I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. So tell me what you think in the comments below. I love reading what your responses are, what your experiences are. It's great for our community so we can know what other people are thinking and experiencing. Have you used these plasma lighters or of a different brand that you really like? Uh, what do you like or don't like about it? Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing your comments below. Until next time, I'm Nakia. This is Rat and Cat. Get out there, be safe, and enjoy the wild.